back to the 20th episode of this UK and Transport Fever 2 series and welcome to Newcastle upon Tyne, the current northern extent of our train network, except, you know, there are places further north of here, Scotland. So, in today's episode, we're going to be expanding our rail network into Scotland. So, got this beautiful amount of money in the bank. Have been doing stuff. So I have been doing stuff between episodes. Um, the Bristol to York passenger. I have had to d uh, go from one to two trains and then increase the capacity of the, the length of those trains because they're just so busy. Also, a couple of lines have got new trains. See where I can see them. Where's that one going? Oh, that's London to Carlisle. There we go, that's one. The London to Liverpool line has got these new double deck trains. I know we don't have double deck trains in the UK. And if we just go down to this area. Oh yeah, we've got new trains. That's Birmingham to London. We have also got new trains on the London to Cardiff route. There we go. These ones. No, London to Swansea. Sorry, not London to Cardiff. Anyway, let's go back to what we were doing. That is, we have a station here at Newcastle. And we want to go further north. Now, so from here, we'll probably go to Berwick. And then into Edinburgh. From... Carlisle will probably have a line that goes through Gala Shields to Edinburgh and also a line that goes through Dumfries Air and into Loop, kind of into Glasgow. And then there will also be a line from Glasgow through Falkirk to Edinburgh, probably with like a triangle in Falkirk. And St Andrews, well, it doesn't have a train line in real life, so. Can it expect one in this game? I don't know. 125 miles an hour, brilliant. I think we need to connect the other lines to this, I think we'll keep it as just those two, which are the ones coming through from Darlington, York, or they can come through from Leeds, Sheffield, Darlington. So, we need a station in Berwick upon Tweed. So, two platforms, I'll try to work out whether we might want a bypass line here, yeah. You know what? Bypass line. Go standard tracks. But yeah, no, let's just also like move half the city. And this weird road as well. So the way I'm actually going to do the bypass line here is going to be a bit weird. I'm basically just going to... I'm going to have in tracks. Two tracks beyond there. And you might ask, like, what's going on here? So basically, if we just look at it from this angle. Here. This platform on the right is going to be stopping going northbound. The second platform is going to be passing going northbound. The third platform is going to be stopping going southbound. And then on the outside of that, there's the passing route for southbound. These lines have got to bend a bit more south. Slow down to 75 miles an hour, but then it needs to slow down to that anyway to get through the tracks at the station. 
There we go. There we go. That's us through to the barrack. And then we'll extend these tracks out onto the bridge. And then cut them in. I would like it to be a bit faster than that. 63, go on. Yeah, go on. Right, so now we need a station in Edinburgh. Which, as you can see, is not unhilly. So we might need to work something out here. But I think I know what we can do. If we just yate this road along the front. And some of this. And change the way this road goes. It's just like total destruction, but I don't care. And we can get one of these. Let's go for big. We want a medium main building. We want some overpasses to connect platforms. We could do that. Or we could do like a Edinburgh Waverley in real life. Just like a really long station with like loads of like double platforms. Yeah. Let's, you know, let's build this up. So we'll go for 320 meters. Let's build this up from the start. So what we're going to do is 320 meters, but it's actually going to be 360 meters. So these are long ones. And there's going to be a platform there. And these ones are going to go shorter. And that's going to be kind of like a break. Like that. And those, these are still 160. I might extend these to 200 on this side yeah I've still got more space I think yeah after this then well, actually, what we'll do is we'll make these 240, we'll make these only. Because these are those through platforms are already really long. So these are then the through platforms. Good. So now, actually we're in King's Cross, aren't we? So we've got the old style stuff.
Så. Så nej. Actually, we could go for both sides. Uh, no, that's the, the old. That's because we've been using it. Never mind. That's just. Do this. Right. Replace all of these now. So there we go. I'm feeling like detailing. We can get in some. Where is it? We can get some seats. So people can, you know, sit down. Let's wait for that train. We can have some ticket machines. And somewhere, I don't know if it's in Misk, we've got some big grooves like this. Yeah, I know this is Edinburgh Way, probably, but let's go for the Manchester Piccadilly roof. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up the platforms. That works, I think. Sometimes I don't use stuff off the Steam Workshop enough. There we go. Lovely station. Right, so now we have an Edinburgh station. We now need to connect the line up from Berwick and... Probably gonna want to keep it to like not too high ground. There, so we want to be 75 or like. There we go. It will be. But shh, let's go down to 40 to approach this massive station. We just do this. So each, how I'm going to do it is that each have two platforms will have its own crossover, then we'll merge in. And this will merge into this one. And we'll have... Crossover. And that's that side of Edinburgh done. So uh, theoretically we can have lines up to Edinburgh now. But this will take, this will take quite a configuration of lines I think.
Yeah. Signals out to full platforms because I feel like it, but like these aren't strictly necessary. And that is Edinburgh. So we've got the Newcastle to Watford line. I think I'm going to take that one off Grimsby because I don't know actually. I would say because Grimsby platform's not long enough. But I'm also tempted to have a line, kind of two lines from London to Edinburgh, a faster and a slower. So if that's gonna, we could do that. It's like the slower line. So there, therefore, that would stop at Berwick and go to Edinburgh. But then to make it even more interesting. If it then after Edinburgh, it then does the fast route back. So it goes Newcastle, doesn't stop at Darlington, Grimsby, or Cambridge. So that is actually the way I think I'm going to do it. Why is it doing that through Darlington? It's a bit of an odd way of doing it. Well, I kind of like it, so... Okay, fine. If it thinks that's the best route, then fine. So, that's the... I'm just going to completely rename it to the London... To Edinburgh... Passenger Express 1. Because then... I'm going to get another line in. I'm just going to start... On the other platform here, which is going to come out fast to York. York 6. Newcastle. Newcastle. Edinburgh. Seven, and then Berwick, Newcastle, as usual, Darlington, York. I'm not really sure why it's using that line. She's no four. We should get it on Grimsby. Actually, yeah, that's kind of nice how it goes. Then on to the slow line at Grimsby, but I kind of want it on the fast line. So Cambridge number two. I kind of want it to, you know, cut in. Oh, that is a nice idea, though, to kind of make it stop on the slow line. <laughs> so if we just go to the this one yeah platform one but I would like it to you know have a nice crossover so like that yeah that uses it now and if we just yeah, that's what exactly what I want there. So that other line one is our London to Birmingham Passenger Express 2. Birmingham? Hang on, what? Edinburgh. Wait. 
That is all good. So then we don't have any trains for number two. So what I'm going to do is... How many depots are there on this line? Because there's one there. Which we're going to get the L and the R versions of these trains because, you know, this is like the East Coast main line. There we go. One of them for Passenger Express 2. And then we're going to get a new depot up near Edinburgh. The, well, the hills. That certainly goes in. It doesn't, sir. Uh, yeah, this does work, because if we connect to that one, then it can use any crosser to get to the other one. So, yeah. Then, one of these for Bastard Express number two. Now, next one. If you go back to York. Bristol to York passenger. I think... I'm trying to work out whether you want these to go any further. I think for now, no. We'll leave it at that and see how those run and then come back in a few minutes to get the other line set up. Right, so now there is some demand at all these stations. Not completely full. There comes a train. I, don't, I think it's full because the passengers hadn't quite worked out what they're doing yet. But that's fine. So next, I think we want to get from Carlisle up to Edinburgh. So, how are we using platforms here? Um, unclear. This road might be really annoying. Yeah, I think this road's got to go. So yeah. It's like a really weird thing to enter a tunnel there, but we could just get rid of this road. So. junction here because we could have to get stuff sorted into Glasgow and Edinburgh so what I'm actually going to do is delete this bridge whoops and have this one flow into here this one fl flow into here and a crossover on the bridge. Whoops, that's not working. There we go. And the same with this one. And then this line, because it's unlikely things will run up from here, I'll just do a bad crossover connection, not crossover connection, anyway. So we've now got four tracks. And these ones will have to run into Gala Shields. And then these ones, after running parallel for a bit, will take the turn to go towards Dumfries. got that small window here where we can have lines crossing over 
So here we go, number one. And then, this one's going to have to come into this one here. There we go. And I'm going to do some double slip switches as well. Just so kind of if this one wants to come into this line here, doesn't have to wait until a crossover. Yeah, actually that's a good thought. Anyway. That's line through to Gala Shields. So we need a station in Gala Shields. Now despite this not being a big town, I also don't anticipate this being a big line, so I'm not gonna put any bypass um tracks on here. Right, we'll do the entrances on both sides. There we go. Let's disconnect. It's really awkward. There we go, that'll work. Can do the same thing on this side as well. There we go. Slight curved road so it connects to the entrance. Then we'll have a diagonal road up here, just so all of the town is connected. Then this road can flow out into here, and everyone's happy, hopefully. Now also let's sort out what we deleted in Carlisle. We're either going to need to get a bridge or a tunnel here. Could we get it like this? There we go. New bridge. Brilliant. So signals. Oh, those are not one way, but it doesn't really matter. And Alice Shields. We are going to need to connect in to get into Edinburgh somehow. I think I know how we'll do it. We'll just basically make it turn into these lines so it can connect up to any of them. Actually, if it's here, let's do a nice, a nice one like that. There we go. There we go. And that's connected up to Edinburgh. So. I'm thinking the line from Birmingham. I'm going to switch this up at Carlisle so it's on number three. Then go Gala Shields. Edinburgh. That works. Gala Shields. Carlisle. Yeah, go on. And then the London one. I'm going to change the platform slightly so it's on platform four. And then. This one is now no longer the Birmingham to 
Carlisle passenger, but the Birmingham to Edinburgh passenger. That's good. So because I've extended that line, what I'm just going to do is take all three of these trains and increase the capacity slightly. So they were all 200, which goes to variants. The six ones should be 250. That's all good. For that line. Now we're going to need to head toward Glasgow. These are all fine, so let's get going with the station in Dumfries, which is also on a massive hill. I mean, actually, in this case, it would be easiest to do an elevated station over the centre. Like this. Then we can get, if we just go to elevated passenger buildings, we just get the lifts. There we go. Good. So that's done for a sorted. Just that, oh, and that station doesn't have any pillars. Maybe we could build it with pillars. And immediately get bridge pillar collision. Um, spaced pillars. 20 meter height. There we go, that works. Now this is a bit further out, there we go, that connects, and this one all connects up to this road here, oh wow, that height difference. That works. So. This bridge here would work. We're going so far on the bridge. It's incredible. We just go slightly up. Can we get it off the bridge there? No. I expect that's quite a sloped one as well. There we go. So, some freeze we then want to go around to air, I think. So, air. We're going to get three platforms, 240. We're going to have an underpass. We're going to have a small main building. There we go. And this one, even though it's not a big town, we might need a bus line because we're going to place the station right on the edge. Actually, that might not work. We're trying to tunnel under a iron ore mine. Yeah, that's collision. What if we just place it like the other side of the road? Extend the road a bit further. Oh, level crossings might be needed. They do work. So yeah, fine.
that this track can connect to Dumfries via a massive tunnel. Fine. So, this is going to run into here. Then this track here. Going to run into the tunnel. Then head down to Strandra, which will build an ale because. Why not? And the Strandra, I think, is going to be a diesel line. So. One twenty era A, I can do no catenary. Actually, that's just gonna make it like really long platform for fun. You know, not really long. One sixty. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna have a bridge like that. We're still building with catenary. Off. Let's just build with catenary, then switch it off. No, then remove it, sorry. So we're gonna kind of have to like run into this line here. And then because this is gonna be a single track line up until here. And then it's gonna go double track and then Second track can connect into the outer one. Also, then back into the first one. There we go. And then get rid of the catenary again. Yeah, I can turn like one platform off catenary. Good. And we're so close to Glasgow. Let's just get some signals sorted out. Good, good. In the tunnel, at the station, after the station, down here, and that's good. So Glasgow. I feel like we might have the two stations set up here, like Glasgow IRL. So we've got Glasgow Central, which could have four platforms because I feel like being generous to it because like nothing's coming into here at the moment. And then we'll have a bus line set up to go between the two stations. Right. We're going to need to do a bit of flattening here. And by flattening, we're like taking out an entire mountain. There we go. Yeah. It's a bit of extreme kind of hills here. There we go. Good. much slope has it got to go up that much yeah it has actually so maybe it wasn't such a bad idea to have the station up the hillside a bit more like here there we go that works Just gonna like smoothen off this a little bit, and we've still got to connect the station up to the road. There we go. Good. Right. And if we do this. Get the other two tracks connecting in. Good. 
get as much of a crossover as we can. Amazingly, on both sides, we managed to get a crossover in. Good. And signal. Connects in. Signal there. Signal leaving. This is ridiculous. That's such a short distance between stations. But now we've got new routes to set up. So for now, the London to Carlisle's going to go London to Edinburgh. So Carlisle from that platform there. It's going to go up to Dumfries. Then air into whatever platform it feels like at Glasgow. Then hopefully at Carlisle it will, yes, go that platform. And that junction's working as it should, so that's good. And then that's the London to Glasgow. Passenger Express, and we're going to need another train, there we go, and then, for now, Stranraer, Air, Glasgow, not twice, let's so make it go out that platform, Air, Stranraer, so that's the Glasgow to Stranraer passenger, We need to train for that, and for to get a train we're going to need a depot. So given we're not going to get close to Glasgow or Rare because of the tunnels we're going to have in near Stranraer, then make it a diesel only depot, I suppose. Well, and steam trains if we still have any of those. Let's just kind of run it over the bridge, and merge it in. Oh, that's with catenary, all of it. There we go. So. Diesel multiple units. 156. Strathclyde transport, brilliant. Double or single unit? Double unit, for now. That's on the Glasgow Strand Raw passenger. Right, Strand Raw doesn't need a bus, but Air does and Glasgow does, so I think that's going to be... The last thing in this episode, then next episode, we're going to start setting up lines that go between Scotland, Scotland, rather than just Scotland and England. So, just getting this quickly set up around the town. Just do a road there. There we go. Bus depot. Two buses. And that's the air bus. Quite simple. I know that's the air loop actually. Then in Glasgow, there's going to be a station on this side. I can tell there's just like the perfect space for it. Oh, what's happened? What? Oh, is this station not long enough? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Just kind of extend the tracks down a bit so that hopefully the crossover is a bit clear. Yeah, because the crossover. I 
I just turn it around? There we go. That's a bad problem. That train station isn't long enough. So, back up to Glasgow. Where, yeah, we're going to have a station here, probably. We're just going to serve up Dumbarton Open Fort William, possibly. It's going to serve up, definitely, Perth, Dundee, Inverness, Aberdeen, Elgin, places like that. And Falkirk, and also Falkirk, Edinburgh. So it's really important we have a good bus connection. And for this, we're going to go for two, for a, a kind of clockwise and anti-clockwise loop. This is the main road into Glasgow, which is quite busy because, you know, like these towns don't have a train line they can use. That's about to change. I'm just going to cut this off. I don't like how Glasgow's cities like extend like this far and just like big, like long roads which don't have any connections. There we go. That'll do. So, bus depot. To stop building that road again, I'm going to put a bus depot where it was. So, we're going to get four bendy buses, two on a new line which is going to go anti clockwise. is the Glasgow loop ACW and we need the other route this is the Glasgow loop CW because the traffic is a bit bad I mean this is the main road from Edinburgh and this is the main road from Dundee so what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage anyone coming from Edinburgh to run down this way I should cut off this connection actually make it a bit better but of just like make this kind of wiggle around like this way there we go but that then encourages more people who come driving from Edinburgh to go in this way and people who are driving from Dundee to go in this way splits the traffic but anyway I think that's good we've got Scotland connected to England but not connected to itself to go from Edinburgh to Glasgow you have to change at Carlisle so that's next episode's work thanks for watching and goodbye